Welcome back, I'm Sissy Hu. Um, we are starting again today with day four of the Strange Horticulture. I'm super happy to play this game. I had a kind of a rough day today, so I'm quite glad to be able to play this um, tonight. It will uh, it will be nice. We have uh, we have uh, our little kitty here, and it's raining outside, and it's lovely. It's a lovely day to be here. So, um, last time we ended up with this card here and I have absolutely no idea what to do with this. Um, I was wondering if we could place it on the map. Maybe I should use this instead. Uh -huh. And then you have this, but where? I don't remember if I had any other kind of clue. Hmm. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Oh, we have this as well. <sighs> no, I don't know. Okay. Let's not spend too much time on here. What I can't remember is that did we have any kind of indication in our dream? I don't know. So I will call the first. Oh, look at the cat. <laughs> I think he was surprised by the bell. Uh, first person of the day, that's Ruben. That's the um, the inspector. The fox button was no help, I'm afraid. The sisterhood still refused to speak openly to me. Not that I have time to pursue it properly, I'm rushed off my feet this week. There's been a body found in the s at the Swin Side Stone Circle, and apparently it's a grisly one. I don't suppose to do anything to help keep my lunch down. My stomach never coped too well with the grizzly one. So you want some fennet. I'm annoyed to have this because I feel like I should um, I should do something about it. Maybe we'll try to find this poisonous plant. So you want some fennet. Oops. And then I want to go check this. Swing side stone circle. We'll see if we can get there. So fennet, fennet, fennet. Chewing the tough fruit, this plant said, is gastric distress and reduced anxiety. It has long, soft leaves. I think this one was given to me. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. So many. Oh no. I was thinking about that one. But that one is the one we found for Simone. Um. Oh, it could be any of those. No, stiff leaves, it's not that one. Uh, uh, this one? Smells like sweet rhubarb. Maybe this one? Long, soft sweet, uh, leaves. Let's try that one. No, poof. Okay. Um, I haven't identified it, have I? Can't remember now. It's been a few days. I don't think I did fennet. Uh, where's Camfree? Some... No. Okay, so it's not that one. It's not that one. Could be this one. Oh, it could be this one. The leaves are quite soft. Yeah, I think that's the one. It is! Yay! Okay. And then that is a plant. What is it? Mushroom? No, it's a plant. It's leaves. Beaver kiss plant. Hmm. Okay, let's label a uh, bepunnet. You. And then I'm going to put you. You don't. You shouldn't be here. That's the identify shell. Oh uh, yes, I wanted to go and see the Swinside Circle, Swinside Stone Circle. I think we can find it. Let's go. <laughs> I shudder at the thought of what have happened here. If these stones could tell us what they saw, a chill comes over me and I realize that I do not want to linger. Ah. <gasps> oh! 
I shouldn't have done that. No, I can just make one more mistake today. <laughs> oh no. I forgot to put my gap. Oh, that's David. Morning! Verona Green handed me this for you. She seemed in a good mood. So, Verona Green is the occultist. Which we helped yesterday. I meant to tell you this yesterday, but it slipped my mind. I discovered a plant on a recent trip to Grisdale Forest, just northeast of Rusland. It was nothing I've ever seen before. I would have brought it back with me if the sisterhood had given me the moment alone, but they seem overly protective lately. Okay, let's try and find it. So she said northeast of Rusland. Uh, it's here. Just northeast here. Yay. Oh, I need something. Okay. From the moment I step off the road, I can't shake the feeling I'm being watched by the sisterhood, probably. Suddenly I find my way blocked by three women. Here we go. Wearing green cloaks and holding short helm bows. Nobody may wander freely throughout the forest by order of the order. Well, the order's dead, though. Hmm. Save the leader of the trio. I turn to walk back, but then again I have a few tricks up my sleeve. I need a, a mellow glow. Mellow glow. Among other uses for this plant, the most remarkable is that it can allow a person to pass unnoticed. Though not invisible, it's possible it become hidden for sight and memory. Ah. The mellow glow had sharp thorns that protect it from its predator. I have only one with thorns, I think, and it's a... It's that one. I think it's that one, the only one with thorns. Oh no! Oh no, there is that one too! Ugh. Ah! I think it's this one. Sharp thorns. Yeah, let's try this one. Nice. Capalia. With the help of the mellow glow, I walk right past the sisters without them paying any heed. Paying, paying me in any heed. Chuckling to myself, I collect the plan that Verona taught me about and take my lead. Okay, what is it? Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Starting to be a real mess here. This is done. Um, map here. Boop. Bay Swift. I'm afraid. The camphor will give me is helping me sleep, and I'm very grateful for it. But the visions are as strong as ever. The woman in the jade mask appears in my dream every night. She screams at me, but I do not know why, and behind her, that presence is always there, dark and dreadful. I don't know what to do. The dreams feel like a warning that I don't understand, a mosaic of color that refuses to come into focus. Some part of me wants to stare down that abyss. I'm afraid. So she want Agoria? Agoria or... Candlewood. Okay. Let's see. When burn incense made from woody stems can enhance psychic abilities, strengthening the clarity of the vision and prophecies. Can I actually? So this will help with the candlewood have another effect. Produce a red flower that provides a shielding effect. Oh. Interesting, so I could help her see more, or I could protect her. Hmm. I think 
you want to protect her? Produce a red flower that provides a shielding effect protecting you against all manner of affliction in the wind. Of the, <laughs> the wind. Oh my goodness. Of the mind. <laughs> Long, thin stems grows among tall leaves. It looks like this. Yeah. Let's protect her. I don't know if that's a choice or not, but uh, it looks like it. It looks like a choice we can make. So this is kind of wood. Mm. And the other one was Agoria. This one. Light blue flower like rounded tuft of gentle lambs will characterize this plant. We can already kind of guess um, blue flower. Oh, maybe I don't have it. So maybe there was no choice at all because I don't have it. Weird. I thought I saw something like that. Hmm. Oh, maybe I was thinking about this one. Okay. Okay, so it's not a real choice then. Alright. I can explore. Um, I'm going to try this one again. Dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hill of the north east of Bag Barrow. I don't think I've tested. I've tested these two last time. Let's test this one. Okay, didn't want to go there. And also something else is I don't think we know the name of our character. I don't think we do. Ooh, you knew? Margaret. We don't come to Undemy often, but I heard about your shop and I said to Francis, we simply must pay a visit. It's a wonderful place, breath of a life in an otherwise dreary town. I'm the green fingered one, and it's not really his cup of tea, but I persuaded him for the trip would do him good, and besides, he'll be wanting to take a boat out on the lake. Well, maybe not today, it's raining. But okay. Shame about this awful weather, though. Yeah, here you go. You must come to Sizerg? We have a small library with some book on plants that my grandfather acquired many years ago. Okay, we'll go there. Sizerg. I'm sure there would be an interest of an horticulturist such as yourself. Sure. You're accordingly invited to size a castle, Lord and Lady Elspeth. Do they have a bio? No, she did not appear. Uh, yeah, let's go there. I mean, we have time. We have a uh, wheel to explore right now. Uh, size or castle. Here, wow, it's a real castle. I am greeted enthusiastically by Lady Elspeth herself. She's very talkative and has many questions on horticulture that I do my best to answer. And she takes me on, as she takes me on a tour of the gardens. Oh, you must take a sample of this back with you, she, exc she exclaims, pointing out a plant that I do not recognize. But before I can stop to take a look, she has already whisked me on to the next. Oh, and this one too. A two plants. I am quite exhausted by the time we make it to the library and I don't have the time to make it as thorough a study as I would like. Nevertheless, I am able to find an interesting entry that I note down. Don't forget these, Lady Elbeth cries as she makes as I make my leave. She thrusts the plant from the gardens into my hands and I thank her warmly. Wow. So I have two plants. Ooh, this one's pretty. And oh, feather kiss. We had something about another plant like this. And red berries. I have something with red berries. Uh, where is it? Where is it? This one. That's probably. Maybe I can mark it actually. In pink, that would be the one we have to confirm. Feather. Yes. Let's do that. And let's put it on the shelf of the delivery. Hmm. 
And what is this? Small yellow berries. Looks exactly like this one. Well, no, the leaves are different color, but uh, okay. Alrighty, so this is done. And you can go away. Boop. Francis Aberton. Oh, he's the one who wanted something for the um, uh, mental genera um, degeneration. I'm looking for a plant with yellow flowers and coarse leaves. It helps with my heartburn. Oh, you're all kind of tired. Okay, I don't have a bio. So here it is. Here it starts to be quite nice. Basically, I have no indication whatsoever. I was looking into this. It's so cool. And I have to look at the book and check what could help him. Uh, so yellow flower and coarse leaves. So I'm going to first look at the symptoms here because I think it would be faster So let's find heartburn cold skin rashes Afterlife protect locks Strain uh, Fatigue Sleeping frog, friendship, digestive trouble, gandhi root. But he wants yellow flower and coarse leaves. Gandhi root we have identified. Is that yellow? Hmm, maybe? Not sure about this. Let's see. I don't know, that's the poison. Uh, stomach distress, okay. Sandfire is a tough outer box which has many useful property. Some choose it as for or dental gene, taking care not to swallow. As it can cause unpleas- oh no, it can cause, okay, no. So. <laughs> Definitely not this. Uh, this one is shrieking. It's a radiation. He had that last time, he had the Lady of Summer. Um, affliction of the heart. We agree that heartburn is not an affliction of the heart, right? That is so not cool for non-native people. Um, Mikju, Mikju is for what? Ah, okay, decorative, fine. Gastric fennet. But I think the fennet doesn't have any. Uh, oh, I just identified it as well. That's yellow. Coarse leaves. No, man, the leaves are soft for this one. Oh my goodness, I think I'm going to go over. Hmm. Vibrant basil can be brewed. In beaver's earring abilities, no. Insanity and death. Oof. That is bad. Um. Mm-hmm. Slowly in the dark. This is blue. Moisture. In adding the smell of flowers, say to help ease symptom of anxiety. I have no clue. Yellow flower and coarse leaf. Do I have that? Yellow flower. You? These leaves seem to have a mind of their own. Which one did I put aside? This one? Oh, I don't think that's it. Oh no. That's not yellow. Though. Okay, let's try it. It's the only one that kind of. Oh my. <laughs> so happy. Mister, this is not really yellow. This is more like. Pale green. Took me forever. At least he's happy. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, I think I did this last time. I'm going to go there. Nope. I'm sure I'm going to click on it several times. Several times on the same one. Poop on the nose. Selena, you're new. 
They're saying Black Comb is haunted now. Bradley Miller told me he saw a ghost of a huge deer, antlers and all. But then Bradley Miller also said he can talk to squirrels. Or maybe he can. Either way, there's something evil in them hill, and I'm not taking any chances. Awful what happened to that poor young man up at Sw Swin Sideway, that's where we went. I've come for some stinking mound cap. So yeah, we went there and uh, we were not happy. So I assume this is going to be a mushroom. Stinking mound cap. Stinking? What? Are you giving me the wrong name? Hippophagus dumb cap, sometimes called stinking mound cap. Yeah, okay. As the order of an unpleasant order. Uh, it is now to deter unwanted souls and spirits from entering the home and is often placed in doorways. It is mildly toxic to human and should not be eaten. Okay, don't eat it. She's going to make her doorway stinky. Is it that one with the flies? Probably. Yeah. It smells strongly of soured milk, bad enough to make my eye water. Here you go. You smell Oh, it was written. The real name was written there. Okay. We made it! Oh, I was so worried about this. So worried, but it's fine. We made it! Stinking... No, sunset. Now... Yeah. Yeah. Captain America. Who is it? Probably not too stinky. Probably. Okay. So we are done for the day, uh, we can go and explore again, maybe I should know that. I'm going to get in trouble. No, okay. Well, there's nothing more to do at the shop. Um, we are done for the day. Good night. Oh, I need to not forget about my uh, that card from last night. She lives alone in the castle to the northwest of the abbey. She buried her husband three miles to the east, to the east, to the east, where the ever heart grows. The ever heart grows. Ah. At fifteen, her mother, strong, dependable, loving, was struck down by typhoid. The girl drew inward as her father turned to drink. Hmm. I'm wondering, that is just my um, mind <laughs> going uh, far away, far ahead and trying to draw some uh, theories. I'm wondering if this is the story of um, Verona. I don't know why, because she's, she's been studying the occult for many years started as a hobby and gradually grew into an obsession and I don't know why I, I feel like she would definitely fit that girl finding a book and you know deciding to not look at it and we don't know what will happen to her and happen to that girl 15 year old but maybe she went back for the book I don't know or maybe the story is about us but I doubt that Hmm. Okay, let's try to see the Abbey. What is the Abbey? Do I know? Is there an Abbey somewhere? Castle. Ooh, here. <gasps> no! Ah! Click on the wrong thing. I wanted to go north east of that. Okay, I'll have to wait for the next um, wheel to explore. A small window opens within a much larger oak door. From the darkness within, a voice proclaim Only afraid and may enter. So we are going to try. It may not work at all because maybe it's, you know, we may need to have like a password or something. Um, we are going to try what the inspector wanted to give the first time. I don't remember the name. 
uh, it wanted to give them some fox button. And we saw that the fox button is used for uh, present the contract of friendship. Let's try. They may just send me away because actually they're expecting something different. Uh, I think it's that one. Let's try it. Oh, yes. Completely random clicking. <laughs> Draw us to here. The Calder Abbey. The hatch snaps shut and the oak door swings inward slowly without a sound. I'm ushered in by a man wearing a plain brown robe. He nods silently when I ask about Long Meg. I've got no clue who Long Meg is. I think I've just jumped ahead in the story. Oof. No. Um, leads me through the abbey to a small library filled with scrolls and book. Without a word, he pauses for a moment surveying before selecting a scroll and handing it to me. Oh no, am I going to mess up the story? Should I not read this letter? Maybe I should wait to see if I learn about Long Meg. Hmm. Regarding Long Meg, there is a stone circle north of Undermere. According to the local legend, some hundreds, perhaps even thousands of years ago, a witch known as Long Meg lived there along with her daughters. They were wild, godless people who practiced evil magic. Until one night they went too far and Meg and her daughters were turned to stone. The tall stone that stands apart from the main circle is called Long Meg by the local. Interesting. Hey. hey. All right. Okay, well, I, I've got no clue what to do with this. Um, let's... Oh, look! Up and down, up and down. Right and left, my cat does that. <laughs> oh, so cute. Faye. I must thank you. Last night, for the first time in weeks, my mind was calmed. I'm no longer tormented by vision of the woman in the jade mask and that terrible monster. Now I'm wondering if you have some worry less to keep my over-anxious thought at bay. Yeah, well, now I'm wondering if I should have given you... No, that would have been mean. But maybe... No, I don't think I had it. <laughs> you know, to make her see more. Um, worry less is an empty aptly named plant. Inhaling the smell of the flowers, it says to help ease symptoms of anxiety. The smell of the flower. I've got... Ah, that's great. That's going to be super helpful. Um, what? I've got no clue. Would that be this? Maybe dark blue flower smells like sweet rhubarb? Could be? Going to put you here. Oh, uh, you should go back on your shelf. No, you don't have any flower. You don't look like this. All identify here. Um, I don't think that's it. Sweet scent. Huh, I think I'm. Uh, that's the only one that could fit, right? Because then these are so different. They smell wonderful. Oh, I don't think that's it. Hmm. Okay, let's try that one. No. Ugh. I don't know. I've got. Uh, what is this? I don't know. Looks like. Ugh. Should you try that one? That smells wonderful. It's a bad drawing. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a bad drawing. I said it. I'm sorry, person who drew this. But really? Really? Where, where do you see a li Uh, no, there is no little nub. Oh no, there is one here. Okay. Okay, okay. It's my fault. It's my bad. It's fine, it's fine. She is not stressed out. I am. Perfect. Uh, so now, I'm not going to um, be uh, 
but you're happy. So, she is... Uh, no, it's not that one I wanted, but that one here. Long Meg will wait. I want to solve this. So, northwest in the castle. And she buried her husband three miles to the east. To the east, I can't say. Where the ever heart grow. So, one thingy. One square is one heart. So, one mile, sorry. One, two, three. A dead tree, its bark cracked and blackened by fire, stands alone on the hillside. Off to one side, a patch of flowers grow on a low mound. Okay. This is super pretty. Pink flowers. Ah. And this is salt. So this seems to give me... Um, Flowers, actually. Interesting. All right. Yep. Oh, Simone! I met a strange man on the run to Sedberg. Not two days ago. Stranger still, he asked after you. He said he had something for you. Don't ask me what. So I told him where to find you, but it looks tricky when I mention Erdemir. Ah, is it Ammon? Said so he doesn't come near towns at all if he can help it. I think it's Ammon. He was headed west, at least I think he was. Great. Helpful. He said he was looking for the Winster Spring. I'll write this down for you. Anyway, that's my news. Did you manage to find the plan I wanted? Oh, yes. I remember you said you were going somewhere. Uh, where was she going? She had... Oh no, Sedberg. And she said he was heading west. On the road to Sedberg. Winster Spring. Okay. Uh, yes, I found your plant. I think it's this one. Yeah. Here you go. Man wanted to meet you headed west from Sedberg, possibly near to the source of the river Winster. Okay, we'll go there. Uh, so, yeah. This one I'm going to relabel. And I'm going to get rid of the Simone. Okay. Let's find this guy. The road to Sedberg. I think Sedberg, yeah, is right here. And he was headed west near the source of the river Winster. Uh, wow, here? Near the source. Here maybe? No. Okay, I'll try again. I'll try all these... Um, I clicked here, I'll try here. And here. Uh, I need to remember. It's a shame I can't just put a cross on the map to remember where I went. Ooh, you're a new guy. Conrad Stanway. I am not long for this world. Ooh, no, really? And I've decided I wanted to be buried in a grave decorated with a rare and beautiful Cabalia. Like a rare huntsman with their Drentium covered doom. Okay, um, I... Uh, but no clue what you just said, but um, that's sad. Um, Kabbalia. Oh, yes. I wanted to read this earlier. This encyclopedia can be used. Bloody, bloody, blah, blah. Um, who is that? WV. Him. Wilfried Voynich. Hmm. I'm wondering if that's our uncle. Uh, Kabalia. So, what is this? Rare plant that is believed to help the dead find peace in the afterlife. Those who can afford it place breath. breath. This is a strange word. <laughs> English people. English speaking native people. Help me to pronounce this. Breath. Made from it at the graves of their loved one. 
Gabalian flowers almost always contain six petal. Finding seven petal flowers is considered to bring good fortune. Great, I have no clue what is the color, I just know there is six petals. So you have five, you have six, and you look exactly like the picture. Do you have a lucky one? I don't think you have a lucky one, but that's you. It is pretty. It's really pretty. Ooh, eye bright. I think eye bright is the other one. I'm going to... Okay, so you are Cabalia. I'm going to be too fast. Cabalia. It's to L. And I think the spiky one. I had only another spiky one. You. You must be eye bright. They cannot touch the brightly colored thorns. It's brightly colored, yes. They will do lasting damage, but they contain a small amount of venom that will cause severe pain for several days. A plant that only grows in the south of warmer climate, where they call it Luth, after a long dead king. Known to improve eyesight at night and even in the darkest places. Okay. I think you are. I think you are eye bright. We'll check. I right. Next one. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Your reputation is growing, horticulturist. I hear you are the person to come to for plants that are difficult to acquire. My head feels like it's being torn in two lately. I'm looking for some up heart. Who are you, unknown? Oh wow, the woman in the jade mask! So she's the one appearing in um, Faye's dream. So she's real. Huh. Interesting. Maybe I should have tried to boost her ability. Little is known about the mysterious woman in the jade mask. She's occasionally seen in Undermere, but people understandably avoid her cold demeanor. Hmm. Okay, she wants some up art. Inhaling smoke from burning the dried leaf of this plant can provide pain relief. Firm leaves grow up the stem, leading to blue flowers. Uh, you look like the picture. Steve leaves. Yeah, I think you are blue heart. No, a heart. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I'm not doing too bad this turn. Can't remember how did I got that. How did I get that? Did I mess up? Ah, I think I messed up the first one. That's a mushroom. No, it's a plant. Oh. Part the type of fungus somewhere and not a part of the plant. That looks like this. I think it's that one. Because this one, I think... I was like, oh, it's a mushroom exactly like this one. But I think this one is a plant-like... Mushroom-like plant. Yeah, so that's the one. Uh, I already forgot how it was called. Okay, this is up heart. And your yellow. Okay, and then the brand new one is called... Oh, Is that this one? Yes, Copper Caledonian. I think it's this one. Copper Caledonian. Question mark. Okay, let's explore. Um... Oh, yes, that guy. Uh, I, I did that one, I think. I'm going to try exactly on the same row. I think I did this one last time. No. Mm. I will find this guy. Because maybe it's uh, our, our friend um, Amon. This one. Amos. <laughs> Amos Duncan. Here we go. No. 
Verona, hello. Ruben Ward has called me on his unique expertise to aid in his investigation at the Sinwine Stone Circle. Unique expertise, ha! Huh. He knows how to flatter an old woman when you want something. I thought about telling him to suck an egg. Gave it a long thought, actually, but my curiosity has got the better of me. She's a bit rude, that lady. He must be desperate if he's coming to me, and I'll bet they found something juicy down there. I'm not sure I like her. Signs of ritual sacrifice, maybe. I could do with some witch bag to take with me. Always come in useful. Yeah, I'm not sure I like her. First time she wanted to scare a kid. And now she's just like rude with... What's his name? Ruben? I like Ruben. Ruben has a tragic story and he's still trying to help people. So yeah, I'm behind him. Um, so, which... Like? Fig? Fig? Like a fig? Um, a plant that is said to have many uses, including easing symptoms of infection, so keeping moisture and detecting the presence of certain compound. It also well liked by butterflies. It has similar leaf to the Ferkis plant, which is, which it is often confused with. So I think, I think this is the Ferkis. So I would say this one would be the witch fig. Um. It also like uh, has like some berries. I'm going to try this one. Yes. Wow, you really need to start marking down potential flowers name because I wouldn't I wouldn't been able to f to figure out this one honestly if I hadn't like marked this one with a question mark. So I'm going to s carry on reading this better and try to mark the, the one I haven't labeled yet. So, Jacob Worth. People tend to be drawn to the unusual flower of Jacob Worth, but its leaves... It, it's his leaf. It, oh, I can't read today. It is his leaves. The leaves. <laughs> that can have the most interesting properties. It says that it will point toward any person you wish to locate. Ooh. And have been used successfully to find many a lost wanderer out on the fell. So... You know that lady earlier was like, Ooh, this guy can talk to squirrels, so he's crazy. Hey, maybe he's not. Honestly. Because these plants do really weird things, so... Yeah, maybe he can talk to squirrel. Um, did we have any plant that looks like this? I think it's that one. It's probably this one. Probably. Uh, it finished by worth. This one. Yeah, and people tend to be drawn to the unusual flower. And I said earlier, look at these flowers, they're so gorgeous. So, uh, okay. Maybe let's check it's worth. Okay, I, I, I really need to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place... I have more unidentified than non-identified, so I'm going to put my non-identified in the middle. Because they are the one I need to work on. And the other one... I'm going to move away. My mushroom shell. I'm going to recreate it here. Okay, you guys move. I'm changing my strategy. You need to be on the site. Here we go. And then I can recreate my unidentified mushroom shelf up there. And uh, you are promoted to mushroom rank. And you guys... There we go. Perfect. Uh, do I have anything? And actually I can bring my question marks here too yep. much better so I don't have to scroll and I don't have to worry about missing one 
Here we go. We have some room for more. Just checking. All identified here. Yes. Cool. I can explore. Let's try to find this guy. So I've clicked. Did I click here? Oh, I can't remember now. I think I'm going to be annoyed with myself when I'm going to <laughs> edit because I'll be like, oh, I've clicked twice at the same. Oh no, easy. I never see anybody in your shop. It's a daily surprise to me that you're still in business. Well, you're here, so. Believe me, I wouldn't be in here if I didn't have to be, especially with that damn cat still here. I need some bishop parasol for a work-related matter. Okay. Well, you're a good customer, so... Yeah. You helped me, thank you. A mushroom found in the dark, damp place, feeding on any light that gets close to it. It can seem to draw light in, enveloping its surrounding in darkness. Uh, it's probably that one. The gills on the underside of this mushroom sip a milky fluid that can be consumed as a treatment for stomach pains. Why do you need this for work-related matter? Hmm. You have pain in your stomach? Work-related? Well, at least it's a treatment and not poison. That would have been worrying. Um, enveloping its surrounding in darkness. Oh, that could be that one. Absorbing the light. It seems to give off a small amount of light. Maybe? It smells rotten. Probably this one. No, yeah. No. Oh. Wrong one. Is this one? The biscuit's well liquid can be seen oozing from its other side. I clicked too fast. I hope it's that one. Otherwise, I'm going to have a negative. Oh, we shall parasol. It's end of the day. Safe. Uh, somewhat called Everheart. Here we go. See, it's the pink plant that was on the tomb. The pink flowers of the world. Gentia. Gentia are made up of two large kidney-shaped petals. One of the few known ways to release the, the bind of swift snare is to apply a base created from the sap of the royal Gentia. I feel this is going to be super important. So you are the bishop parasol. And I think I can, I can already label you. Well, I'll put pink, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the right one. Um, oh no. Oh no, what was her name? What was its name? I already forgot. So bad. Goldfish memory. Is that you? Yes. Royal... Gentia. Okay. Uh, let's do one more day. I want to do one more day. Oh, found him. It was exactly. I was trying to avoid this um, square here because it was writing next to the um, source of the river and i was like that's exactly on the source but actually that square is just one mile of distance so yeah I, I, i'm uh, i'm making things too complicated as usual the hermit's camp is easy to find nestled between two boulders above the spring the cold remains of a ring of a fire ringed by stone is the only immediate sign that anyone was here i call out but there is no reply. The hermit is not here. Okay, so he moved on. A more thorough search of the campsite yields something interesting. Tucked off to one side, I discovered some broken pieces of wood arranged on the floor. Okay, so it's two down, one, two, and three on the right. One, two, three. I need to go there. 
Am I going to keep this? Oh, I can do it straight away. Great. One, two, one, two, three. No. <laughs> Too excited. Uh, one, two, one, two, three. Yay! The camp at the Winster Spring has led me to another camp of sorts, where I'm greeted by an eccentric man. Oh, yes, yes, ho, 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 the man say. You must take this, take it, take it. At his insistence, I received a looking glass that he thrust into my hands. A lot of people thrust stuff into my hands. He places an envelope delicately on the top. Ooh. Ho, ho, it's not used to me anymore. Ho, ho, no use. Don't forget the red, the red, the red, the red. Ho, ho, abonnez. I'm sure that he's quite mad. The red, the red, the red, the red. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What is this? Can I use it on... No. The red, the red, the red. It is said that the red abony plant has the property of uncovering that which is hidden or secret. Secret? Typo. <laughs> or it's a secret. <laughs> I have perfected a device. Oh no, okay. Someone has badly written this. Designed to use extract from the plant <laughs> in concert with a viewing window in order to permit the user to see magics, otherwise invisible to the naked eye. Use extract from the plant. Viewing window, user magics, otherwise invisible. <gasps> Yay! So I need to find red abony. And then maybe I can use this on card. Oh, that is so cool. Cool, great, amazing. Love this. So red abony. I need to find some red abony. Okay, let's go for one more day. <laughs> Good night. We do three days. Three days an episode. Because <laughs> I want to know. Is that right? What I'm saying? Maybe one, two, three. Oh no. Did we do two days last time? Oh, I think we did two days. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Two days an episode. It's already, yeah, it's already a long episode. Uh, let's see. The old man of Coniston looks, looks out across the lake with blind eyes. Of Coniston. Huh. Okay. His mind wanders with the current, floating gently southwards to the fork. Alright, so I need to find Coniston and then the lake and then the current and then down southward. Okay. So, not long after the girl left home, her father wept, but he was so caught up in his own grief that he let her go and did not look for her. Hmm. Day 6 Wednesday. Did I start at day 4? I think I went faster because the, of the demo thingy. Um, no, I'm going to stop here. Because otherwise it's already a long episode. But, uh, oh wow. Running like crazy. Uh, let's just, um, let's just, let just do this one. I just want to see the, um, do that card. No, it's not. I'm stopping here. I'm stopping here. <laughs> I want to know what happened next. I'm stopping here. Okay, I hope you still like this um, this game. Uh, I, I really, really enjoy it. It's really cool. I'm, I'm really intrigued. Um, I want to know. We still have a couple of cards that I, I have no clue what they lead to. Well, really, two clues. Well, these two. Well, th this one I think we're going to solve easily. That one, I think we may have to use this. And maybe on here as well. It will help. Maybe even on the map. I don't know. But uh, we need that red... How is it called? Red abony flower. I'll try to find... We have this, which we have never used before. Uh, this, I don't know. Maybe on the map I need to use it more because it's easier to read. And then we have a couple of letters. I've done nothing about... Uh, this one I can't find them. <laughs> Clicked, I need to click more. 
Um, would that be the red ebony? I don't know. Maybe we need to use this on that as well. This was on the shelf. Uh, so probably left by our ankle. Uh, long Meg, uh, this has stumbled on this. I don't know if we need to do this or not. I'm worried we're going to go too far ahead on the story. But um, we can try. Maybe we'll just find a flower. And this is the uh, description of the... Um, of the machinery of the lens, let's say, that able to detect some magic. So here you go, uh, the cat, say goodbye. I hope uh, you enjoy this game and uh, I hope to, uh, to see you in the next episode so we can uh, learn a little bit more about um, all of these mysteries and especially see where this is um, taking us with that lady with the jade mask and the occultist and all of these people that basically at the moment I'm, I'm not sure where we are going with the story but I enjoy it very very much. I wish you a really nice end of day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!